Hey guys, it's Nightcase, and this is my eighth sketchbook review on YouTube. I think that's what it is. I hope it's eight. But uh, here are the two covers. I didn't put much on the back this time, so. First off, I started this for 2017 and finished 72417. First picture here is a sketch page of my character Madoka, the little Shiba dog. And this was a trade for a sketch that I later finished in Psy. And this is a comic panel background uh, that I still need to finish. And this is another uh, trade sketch that I finished up in Psy. And uh, I'm just trying to show like there, see, I'm just trying to thumbnail out the pose idea for that one. This is a little drawing for my friend Sean of our two characters just having a cup of tea. And then these were cover book cover idea sketches of my character Clara Talera. And these were just me testing out a new pen, just drawing some of my character Roar, who is a kaiju. And then this is my owl dragon, just another like sketch page, kind of like the first page in the sketchbook. And this was a idea that we never ended up using for a couple con badges. And then this was me trying to uh, <laughs> make up some idea for my jasmine tea bunny. And this was a pre-sketch for the B sketch. And then there's the finished one there. And uh, again, the next page is me testing out some brushes. <laughs> That's why it's two colors. And there's some more test pages trying to do ink wash. This is the book that I started doing ink washes in. And so you see me here, like, testing out different, like, brush reactions to the water and stuff. And then this one was the first, like, ink wash picture, and I used some of my shiny gold uh, watercolor for the background of that. Which, yeah, turned out pretty nice, I think. I didn't especially like the lines in that one, but yeah. And then uh, this is some more ink wash of a mermaid. I think I probably did that in May. <laughs> And then I did a little bee character, uh, again with some of the ink wash. And uh, that's my dark elf character, Lakar. And this is a sketch for a previous uh, speed paint here on the channel, uh, Kana from Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. And this was a sketch for a room sign for a group of my friends and I. Uh, we later finished that in Sai and Photoshop, I believe, respectively. I inked it and my friend colored it. And then uh, this was a sketch commission for a friend of mine of their slime dragon. And then the same friend also got this ink wash picture. Um, and this was some fan art for an artist over on Instagram that I like their bear character. She's super cute. And this was another speed paint sketch uh, from Pulp from Monster Musame. And then I think this was another pen test. I had just gotten a random pen at a store and so I was testing it out. And this was after I got uh, this character and so I was trying to figure out how to draw her. And so I did a lot of sketch pages of just trying to figure out how gangly she'd be. And uh, this was coming up with some ideas for my Patreon, my glow buttons, and yeah, I got some cool shiny gel pens that I'll probably end up using for badges, but I was... Uh, trying to figure out something for those, so I had sketched out some ideas. And then uh, Pink Lars, which I've done a speed paint of now. I should probably do that. The one with the baseball bat still looks really cool. I should do that one. And then this is my character Onyx. I uh, actually finished that in Psy as well. And this is a new character of mine that I did. I finished up as well. Just a plushy character. And then these were some preliminary sketches for my Splatoon 2 speed paint for my Patreon uh, July post or print, not postcard. And so I was trying to get like what pose I wanted, and like I ended up not going with her original outfit at all. And this was when I started changing that. So that's the sketch from the actual speed paint there that I ended up using with her like little hoodie outfit instead that I made. And then this was me. Uh, my Hero Academia character <laughs> trying to figure out what... At first I thought I was gonna make a new character, but then I ended up using a previous character. So, and this is like some fan art for another person's like, that was a really bad sketch, but it was a really rough one too. But uh, so I made a uh, 
full reference sheet for her on my website. And there's a fan art that's better for that person <laughs> of those two characters. And there's my lizard girl again. I really like how that one turned out, but I don't like the double lines that much like you can see here. It worked for the other one, but I don't think it works for everything. But uh, and here is a picture of Mac. I was trying to do some pencil shading. Still trying to get back into that. Um, this is a rough sketch for one of my friends in the RPG that Mac is being played in. Uh, their character. As you can see here, I was trying to draw some of her and I just... <laughs> Sometimes you just move on from a sketch. And then I made this one, which is kind of similar to the Onyx pose, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Uh, and then this is three characters from that, um, with the possum guy playing dead, because obviously he's a possum, so he likes to play dead. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we just started playing, so I'm excited about that. Uh, this was just some pin, uh, brush pen fun there, um, and this was an idea for the other character, but he, we ended up giving him wings and stuff, so. And then I just drawn some busts, I guess. And then this is the last page, and this is another unexpectable fan art. This is the very first unexpectable fan art that I did. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, that's it. So that's Sketchbook 8. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you in the next Sketchbook tour. Bye!